let me take this opportunity to thank my fellow activist group for this evening press briefing. I want to categorically address two issues affecting our country today. One, our country was listed among other 22 countries yesterday by an organization, uh, Financial Action Trust uh, Group. They have listed our country, that can, our country is a money laundering country. They have also stated clearly that Kenya is being financed by other terrorist uh, institutions. We, what we ask other fellow Kenyans, what are the implications of these two findings by this organization? One, that our country today will not be, ac will not be able to access other financial institutions like I am, IMF. Two, that the dollar rate and the Kenya shillings will be very at par and will be very different. The difference will be too high as, as witnessed in the last two months where, where dollar rated 168 against shillings. This will be very bad against our economy status today. Second issue, I want to address education system in Kenya. The worst sense education, what we refer to the CBC, as was uh, contemplated that it will be implemented is not as per the initiators of the project. Today the junior secondary school is at a worst stage when our legislators are just there doing nothing about it. I have a, 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 a grade 7 student here in Nairobi at a public school. My daughter tells me that they have never sat for a subject called business studies. If we are at the capital, Nairobi, Kenya, where there is offices for the teacher service commission and the school cannot have enough teachers. What about the rural schools? This, in, this shows that our education is at a pilot uh, trial and this is uh, worsening our sector. Therefore, we appeal to legislators to ensure that education is properly implemented so that we can achieve the initial goals of the CBC. As I also address Kenyans on one last issue about the AU bid of Raila Amolo Dinga. People are saying that Raila should forget going for the AU job and get a presidential ticket 2027. What they don't, what they don't know is that getting a AU job is just building his career. Continuing in 2027, he may resign and come again and vie for presidency. There is no constitutional law in African Union that will, that will stop him from resigning and come to vie for that position of presidency in 2027. Otherwise, thank you.